brothers and my sisters, what a wonderful day it is. Uh, welcome to the month of September 2022. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing that God is doing in our lives. And I wish you would have, if you can, you were not there, but you still can click on the Lost Street site and hear the message for Sunday because it leads us into our next teaching in this Bible study. And I want to ask you to come with us as we start or a, a continue or start a new journey. And the name of this journey is something uh, I got from Dr. D Still with Dr. Dave, David Jeremiah, Still with the teaching that he had. Come with me on this new journey. Life it's, it's, it's meant to live better than we have been living. The name of this journey will be living a life beyond uh, amazing. Living a life beyond amazing. Uh, we can do that. We can live a life beyond what we think is possible. Uh, each of us, each one of us, uh, 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 has just one life to live. Our lives should matter, and it really should have purpose. This should be amazing to you. But as we look around, we are disheartened, or we see disheartened people living a life of defeat and a life of disarray. Uh, Dr. Jeremiah writes and urges us to move past the discouraging headlines that we see, the adversity of our personal life, and the limits our, 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 of our day in order to reach out and to catch hold of a life that's beyond amazing. Through scriptures, we're going to teach you how to live this life beyond amazing. Pastor, my life is good. Well, I want to teach you how to live a life beyond amazing. And I know your life been good. Do you really? And if it is good, around you there are people who need to live this life. Uh, we, we need to bless them. Let me tell you something, what, what it is. Okay, your life is amazing. And if your life is amazing, it ought to be like, like the fire out there in the West. The wind ought to blow this amazing life on people that's around you. Because that was Jesus' intention. He himself, in all that he was going through, lived a, an amazing life while he was here on earth. He lived a fascinating life. And, 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 and what kept him was that he was in communication with his father. And his father constantly encourage him and nurture him and minister to him. And we want to do this. Uh, uh, we want to explore what it means to become the people, of, the people that God wants us to be and explain how we can, how we can get the help from the Holy Ghost uh, to live this life. How the Holy Ghost going to help us? Well, uh, for us to live a life beyond amazing, we have to have the Holy Ghost helping us and the Word of God helping us. But let me say this before I go into it, and, and, and I'm going to do my best. And, and please, sir, please, ma'am, be patient with me here as we do that introduction into an amazing life. What that introduction simply is to open the door to an amazing life, to open the door to an amazing life. Now, this amazing life, that's, this life that's a beyond amazing, not amazing life, but a life beyond an amazing life doesn't have to start when you get to heaven. We can live this life right here and right now. And, 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 and the story goes about, uh, and, and I, will, I would love to get to California to see those giant, I think they call them sequoias, sequoias trees. I would love to see those tree, trees where a highway go through them 
That's how big they are. They said there is one of them that's called a pioneer cabin tree. Uh, it's called that because you can put a house on the inside of its base. Uh, but the writer says this, that one day there was a great fall of a great giant. And that, that giant was that tree called the pioneer cabin tree. It collapsed and fell during one of the California great storms. Uh, 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 it fell because her, her, her core was gone. Her limbs were brittle and her roots were shattered. And only a, free, a few branches was clinging to life on that tree. But when the wind and the waters lashed this big old tree, it teetered and tottered and tumbled and shattered to the ground. Her millennium, her thousand years, was over. Many of us are going through this thing like this tree. We are teetering and tottering. I got some new words, teetering and tottering. Never knowing when the next storm is going to come. We want, we want to be rooted. We want to be solid uh, 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 as the testimony of God himself. But often we find ourselves being hollow, shadow-rooted, with no strong core. But what if, I to, what if I told you that you can change all of this, that you can weather the storms of life with an inner strength and with inner confidence that you can never imagine? What if I told you that you can experience a life of joy that will change the world around you and, the kind, and you can receive the kind of peace that brings serenity and calmness uh, sweeter than you have ever known? People of God, in this book, this, this lesson, this journey that you're going to travel with us, and I say us, uh, I certainly going to ask minister to, tra to travel this journey with us in our media ministry. But in this teaching, we, 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 we want to share with you how to achieve all that have been described before and more. I, I, I'll show you the path of life beyond amazing. I want, if I repeat, if I say amazing life, it's beyond an amazing life. Man, that's something. No matter who you are. How old you are, how rich you are, how poor you are, how tired and disappointed, how lonely and hopeless you are, you can follow this path. No matter what difficulty and what pain that you have in your life, amen, and what riches and opportunity that you feel that you haven't gotten, this path is for you. This book talks about, minister, talks about character. It's, it's, it's about how we can develop the character that Jesus wants us to have. That makes that, and it's also talked about that God makes us capable of achieving and that the Holy Spirit is always with us, always ready to guide us. I want you to, to develop a character, to develop the character qualities beyond the normal. I want you to show, I want to show you how to build a life, a life beyond amazing, and in so doing, make an impact beyond your own imagination. Man, this is powerful. What's the first thing you need to do? First thing you need to do, set aside fear. You don't need to fear anymore. Did you hear that? Can I repeat it? You don't need to fear anymore. You need new hope, new strength. New understanding. You need a fresh start in a new path. Amen, somebody? And you say new life? I said a new path in your life, which would go beyond an amazing life. What does, what does the world need? Well, I'm glad you asked. Our, world's need, our world needs solid to the core people with unimpaired grit and unimpeded godlessness. The church needs a rekindling, a revival of the nine traits that go to the core of the character, and it is called the fruits of the, of the Spirit. In Galatians, that's going to be our theme scripture, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. 
Amen. Amen. This is what it says. The fruit of the what? spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, and meekness, temperance. Against such there is so, no so, law. So, he that's wants what the apostle. So, God wants us to be people of law, love, joy, and peace. He wants to build endurance in our lives and instill into us compassion for those who need our help. He is ready to bestow upon us the qualities of a champion. All right, we don't shift gears from an overcomer to a champion. He wants to put those qualities. What qualities are there, Pastor? Generosity, integrity, humility, and self-discipline. All that is based on scriptures found in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. People with those qualities are saints for all season. They are like, they are like the people who are like Jesus Christ. The book, this book is a manual of how to develop those qualities. The qualities of life that's beyond amazing are produced within us, none other but by the Holy Ghost. Our first step then is to do what? It is our commitment to Jesus Christ and our willingness to grow in understanding how the Holy Ghost works in our lives. It's up to you. That's the second thing is, get rid of the fear. But this journey will be up to you. This is a life-changing choice. Yes, you will have God's help, but the work will still be up to you. And if you do take them seriously, take this journey seriously, you will start a journey that will not leave you as the same person that you are today. I'm excited about that because I'm going to use this in my own life. The same Bible, watch this, that describes love as the fruit of the Spirit also commands us to love one another. This same Bible uh, tells us to clothe ourselves with love. It's the same Bible that tells us to walk in love. The New Testament that calls joy as a byproduct of the Holy Spirit also tells us to do this. Rejoice always in the Lord. That's a lot of extra love. You know, love, lots of extra joy also doesn't sound so difficult. Do it. Plenty, plenty love, plenty love to fill your heart. But you know something? That depends on None of what we shall share would be beyond your reach unless you try to do it by yourself. You cannot do it without the Holy Ghost. Philippians 2 and 13, it comes from God, the source of our help. It is God who works in you, both to do, to will, and to do his good pleasure with you. The development of the character is a joint effort by Jesus and ourselves. It is a part and a parcel to the abundant life. Why then are we living beneath, this, beneath the, the normal? Why you want to live that kind of life? Let's go beyond. Why normal? Let's go beyond. Amen, somebody? Why is there such a gap between Christ, what Jesus wants us to be, and what we, what we are, really? Next thing you need to know, I need to give you just three reasons. And it's again, I ask for your patience. Three reasons why we struggle to live a life beyond amazing. Amen? Number one, sometimes it's because we misunderstood the nature of salvation. I, and I said to myself, now, Lord, that, 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 let, let's struggle a little bit. And, and, and certainly I struggle with it. You struggle with it because you ignore the fact Salvation is a powerful instrument in your spiritual life. Salvation is one of the Bible's great words. But many don't understand that the Bible presents salvation in three stages. The, the moment we truly receive Christ, number one, as Savior and Lord, we are instantly and eternally saved from the penalty of sin. Watch this now. Don't, don't jump. Don't jump. 
Number one, we are saved from the penalty of sin. Number two, during our Christian lifespan on earth, we are gradually being saved from the power of sin, and we should grow in godliness. Number three, uh, one day in heaven, we will be saved from the very presence of sin and will be holy, glorified, just like Jesus. Many people consider salvation a one-time thing, a past event, but they forget it is an ongoing nature. Let me explain. Uh, 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 N.T. Wright explained it this way, W-R-I-G-H-T. He explained it this way. Many Christians have a big gap in their vision of what being a Christian is all about. He's, he explained it this way. He said, you are standing on one side of a deep, wide river. Amen? On this bank that you're standing on, we declare our fate. But on the opposite side of the bank is the ultimate results, the final salvation of our faith. Simply, but what should you do? Simply just stand there uh, and, and look to the other side? Is there no bridge that can bring those two together? The bridge in question goes by many names, but one of the most obvious names we want to talk about is character. Character is defined as the transforming, the shaping, and the marking of a life and it's happened. Can I, can I say it again? Transforming is the shaping and the marking of a life and its habit. The first step of that process is, 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 is from the first step of that process to the last breath we breathe, we are crossing that bridge called character. In your journey to a life beyond amazing, you will learn to develop character in ways that would bring remarkable rewards. There is a second reason people miss the abundant life. The first one, you don't understand salvation. The second reason is we misapply the concept of work. Many biblical pastors teach that we are not saved by our efforts, but we are only saved by the grace of God. That is true. Ephesians 2, verse 8 and 9, for by grace are you, you have been saved through faith. And, and, and not by yourself. It is the gift of God and not of works, lest anyone should, should boast. Hallelujah. Amen. But, 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 but the next verse, read the next verse, Ephesians 2 and 10. For we are his workmanship, God working on us, created in Jesus for what? Good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ephesians 2 and 10. Amen? Listen to me, y'all. Hallelujah to that. We are not saved by good works, but we are saved for good works. If you choose to take this path, I will show you this understanding will be a blessing to you. Amen? Here's the third reason. We fail to develop godly characters involved in a mistaken view of spirituality. Some of us believe we have little or no, work, no role in our Christian mentality. God does everything. They think we, are, we simply have to, and I use that term, let go and let God, but I'm using it in a different, a different connotation, a different explanation. After all, it is the fruit of the Spirit so we should just passively let God work on us, win in us, and we should just abide in Christ. Well, let me go a little further. It is true the Holy Ghost alone can reproduce the character of Jesus Christ in us, but we must always abide in Christ. But the Bible also makes an active, make us an active partner in the process of salvation. We must be diligent, amen, to do our part. Be diligent, this is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a workman that need not to be ashamed. That's what the Bible says, your part. Mm? 
Listen to this word. This word diligent, amen, and, and, and I'm coming to a close soon. Diligent is not a word for the faint-hearted. It implies consistency, self-discipline, making every effort, and working with great consciousness. Amen? Listen, I didn't know that. I didn't know he was a Christian. I didn't know he got saved. This is how it works out. Bono of the group called U2, famous uh, a rock band. I didn't know uh, Bono was saved. Bono says this. He says, your nature is a hard thing to change. He says, it takes time. He said, I heard about people who, who had a life-changing, a miraculous turnaround, people that were set free from addiction after a single prayer. Relationship were saved where, where both parties let go and let God. But it was not like that for him. He says this, uh, 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 for all, that I, all, that I, all of that, I was lost. He said, but now I'm found. It's probably more accurate to say this. I really was lost, and I'm a little less lost every day. I like this. And then a little less and a little less lost, that to me is the spiritual life. What Bono was saying, it's a process. Every day, you are more and more less lost and more and more found, more and more spiritual. Bono is saying his spiritual process since conversion have taken time and effort to, to achieve. God has given us everything we need for, to, to, for life and for a godless life. Listen to what Peter says in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 and 7. Given all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. I'm going to close, but I, I, I got you got to read that scripture and read it slowly. Each one of them is a constant process. There is an addition. You start off with, 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 with diligence. You add faith, and to your faith, virtue, and to your virtue, knowledge, and to your knowledge, self-control. And then to your self-control, you add perseverance. And to perseverance, you add godlessness. Y'all be patient with me. Here we go. We, we close. What we ought to do as we think about this is to partner with God. People of God, it is so important in order to achieve this life beyond amazement, amazing, you have to have and to develop character. There is a short essay by Pat Groen, and this is what uh, 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 he, he writes. He describes character as the only thing that goes in the casket with you when you die. It is the only, thing, the only thing that you can take with you when you die. Amen, somebody? I love this, y'all. Character is returning extra change at the grocery store. Character is keeping appointments and being on time. And honoring your commitment and honoring your personal word. Character is choosing the harder right instead of the easy and wrong. Character is setting priorities that honor God, family, country, and then your career. You, you got the numbers, amen? Character, I like this one, minister. Character in marriage is working through, through the tough times. Character is being committed to the well-being of your family and your friends and your associates with others if it is personally, even if it personally costs you so much. And yes, character is setting a good example. I'm not finished. Character is a married person of character. Act married all the time. Amen. A person of character is self-discipline, self-control. Character implies courage to stand for what is right, if necessary, if you got to stand by yourself 
and oppose what is wrong and to make the effort to discern the difference. Character is being truthful in all things while being sensitive to the fact that sometimes you just got to hold back the truth. Amen, somebody? Do you want to be a person like that? I'm sure you do. I hope you do. So do I. That's the way we should be. Whenever we enter a room, go to a meeting, go to a game, hug our spouses, put our children to bed, go and get on an airplane, check into a hotel, make a purchase, purchase, and react to adversity. That's what God desires for us too. He wants us to be a tree or trees that never topple, giants that never fall, people who bear enduring fruits. Listen to what the Bible says in Jeremiah 17 and, and verse 7 and 8. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is in the Lord. Amen? For his child shall be like a tree planted by the waters. Amen? For he shall be like a tree planted by the water, which spread its roots by the river, and will not fear when the sun comes, when heat comes, but its leaf will be always be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought in dry places, nor will cease from bearing fruits or yielding fruits. The ninefold fruits of the Spirit, minister, in Galatians chapter 5, is a gift of God. But don't forget, it represents nine decisions on your part. Those decisions will affect you every day. They will transform you into a person of character who fulfills your God-given potential and inspires other people to do the same. It's amazing to meet somebody like that. It's amazing. It is amazing. And it's beyond amazing, amazing to be one of those persons. It's amazing to, be, to meet somebody like that. And when, if you follow us and walk with us and believe God and trust God and allow the Holy Ghost to work in your life, I stop by to tell you, if you want to see that amazing person, if you want to meet that amazing person, just look in the mirror and you will see this, uh, this person that's living a life that's beyond amazing. People of God, I, I implore you, walk with us as we teach you how to live. Thank you, Dr. Jeremiah, to live a life beyond Amazing. Nine decisions you're going to make in the next nine weeks. And I pray that you come and follow us. And I say to you, be blessed. Be blessed. And I love you with the love of God. Amen. And amen. God bless you, Love Street. Thank you for listening. And we invite you to invite somebody else. Share this, line, this, this teaching. Share with your friends. I, hallelujah, somebody. Not about money. It's about you sharing with somebody else the word of God. Amen. God will add. God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. I'm going to add all this other stuff to you. Amen. May God bless you. May God keep you. Again, I love you with the love of God. Amen. Amen.